five. Okay. Yeah. Her biceps fired. Her biceps, fired. Her biceps yeah. fired. Yeah. Her delts. Oh are firing. yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's a failure set for sure. Absolutely. No kidding. Failure set. Yeah, no you question. Know. Boom. Yeah. Screw your dumbbells. <laughs> Yeah. You have to drop yep. them evenly. That's the, the magic to that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That annoys me when people say, oh, well, Jay did volume, not failure. I'm like, no. Jay yeah. had a spot on a lot of sets. Yeah. yeah. He did I volume think and failure. The lats are really shredded out there. That's a yeah. great look for Jay. What did I see last? Like four days ago? This is so Chris. Let's move over here and do the same thing. Yeah. When did I see you last? <laughs> yep. Was that many days ago? Look at that. That is better lighting. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to It's Just Bodybuilding Reacts. I'm your host, Big Ron Parlow, with Dusty Hanshaw and Scott, the producer, McNally. What are we looking at today? Remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, and... Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Scott's going to bring up... Jay Cutler, a cut above from 1999. Remember, go to immutant.com, buy some supplements off immutant.com, go get it, use Dusty 20 or Big Ron 20, get your 20% off, get your ISO surge, get your all in, and everyone should get on the gear. White tights. What do we think of the white tights, gentlemen? Those calves. I'm even I jealous. Guess. If you look like that, you're allowed. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, <laughs> is it the tights to get you or the headband? I mean, that's a cut off <laughs> sleeve, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, is that a waistband off of a sweatshirt? Yeah, yeah, it's. I don't know what that it's, is. It's it's a thing. Didn't Jay, didn't we ask Jay about that headband when he was on the show? I think we did. Oh yeah, I of course think we, we did. did. We still have it. That's, it's framed that's something in his I would have done. <laughs> yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. This is a good old days. So people forget Jay got second to last in 99. Yeah. I often say he got to last. That. Yeah, <laughs> he got second second to last in 99, and he looked incredible. So this video, man, I wonder where he's training. This is, one of the, is he still in Vegas at this point, or is this still no, in No, he's mass? in Mass. He's in Mass. He's in oh, Mass, he yeah. Yeah, he goes to Chris's uh, condo. Yeah, to, uh, to he's still there. driving. He's still driving the old la la Pathfinder in this one, isn't he? He's got that old Pathfinder. I yeah, think. Land Cruiser, I think. Yeah, <laughs> Land Cruiser, oh, an yeah, old yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Carrie yeah, all sliced go. up for the video, also. Carrie's no spotting him. You know, she's been doing cardio in the garage to look good for this video. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. they had like the best divorce of all time. Did you know that? Oh yeah. What do you they mean? Went for. They went out for a steak, had a glass of wine. He cut her check for like, you know, 15 mil or whatever he had, half of what <laughs> yeah. he had. And they just were like, awesome. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They you built know? it together. They split it and called it a day. Yeah. Built it together. Just went for a steak and a glass of wine. And that was it. Yeah. yeah Not a crazy. huge deal. Not a huge deal. That's how you do it, boys and girls. Okay. Of course, it helps if you have thirty million to split when it happens. Right. It's right. Not, not quite as sour. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna. I, I would have just split the bill. I'm like, well, we gotta split this. I mean, damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Things have gotten tight with one income. Um, yeah. <laughs> he was so great at the at the Arnold uh, with his acceptance speech for for winning his uh, the, the the lifetime achievement award. Like everybody yeah. was so pumped for him to be up there. That made so much sense. Do you notice that was how actually much the only time... thing that was hard to skip was I thought about going just to watch his because I knew they'd do, do it like a video and I was like, I don't really want to miss that video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. He spent a lot of time giving credit to other people. Yeah, of course. Or yeah, he really did him. You know, he told Ronnie like without Ronnie, there is no Jay. Oh, yeah. You know, without mm -hmm. Ronnie, there is just a Jay who's a great bodybuilder, but there's no Jay Cutler Cutler like, you know, right. The he drove him to be more than he ever thought he could be, you know, because I mean, that's just that's just how things work. Some people saw Ronnie and just shrank into their cave and other people saw Ronnie and thought, man, I got to beat him. Yeah. And I remember Chris telling me how he told Jay like multiple times, you are going to beat Ronnie Coleman. Like yeah. he f mm. believed it. And I think he, he told Jay so many times that Jay believed it, you know. Yeah. And, um, you know, I know Jay says he didn't beat, you know, Ronnie at his best and all that, but Jay just can't help but, 
give other people credit. Yeah. Let's also so just take a, a quick second to remind everyone that this is what second to last at the Olympia looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now is a time to remember to stay in school, kids. Yeah. And yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's uh, I mean, that, I, I remember watching this way back in the day. Um, it was probably two, you know, a year old, but it was before Jay you know, got second, AKA won the 01 Olympia. <laughs> and uh, it just baffled me to see the size of him. Plus having her spot him really helped me understand how big he was because I hadn't met him yet at that point. Mm, right. And it does help to have a reference of other humans around guys. It really does. You know, yeah. To see how big they are when you, when you don't know, because I didn't know bodybuilding yet. And that, I mean, the mass is out of control and that's nothing compared to what he was by the end. Yeah. Do you know how old he is here? He's only 26. You're kidding. Yeah. Yeah, a lot so of like, bodybuilding left here. See the strided glutes through the tights? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? It's crazy stuff. Not training with crazy it. weights, three plates on the incline for multiple sets is plenty strong. He's done multiple sets with it, you know? Three and a half, wasn't he? Yeah, three plates, two and a half plates he was using. See his glutes is strided through the pants. This whole know? this whole thing, the like the set, the speed at which he takes his plates off, the kind of moving around the gym. I am having flashbacks to like every workout I had in the very early two thousands. You know what I mean? Like this yeah. was the look of every single workout, the cadence, everything about it. Yeah, yeah. The, the gym, exercise the selection. Equipment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just everything. You yeah. know what I mean? Feet Wouldn't up on he the be bench. better off on a cable with it wrapped around his wrists of some... Oh, wait. No, that's now. <laughs> Never mind. <Yeah. laughs> <clears throat> and a good old feet up on the bench for the dumbbell presses. I remember I had a coach back in the day that actually told me to do that. Really? Yeah. He was like, well, you, you, it forces you to be very even with your 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 power you know if you have one side stronger than the other you'll really really notice it huh. if you put your feet up because you lose your base right yeah but i mean obviously jay's so perfect with his rep performance that he's still quite stable there with his feet up but yeah yeah a bit of a different feel when you put your feet up how close to failure yeah. do you think that was that set Pretty close. Like, yeah. wasn't she touching his elbows? Yeah, she was spotting yeah. a little. So yeah. Right, yeah. right. Because you He's hear people say, like, oh, Jay, Jay didn't go to failure, you know? Oh, no. I, yeah. I, I had, yeah, I had this chat the other day with people about Jay that someone said Jay didn't train to failure. And I'm like, Jay trained to tons of failure. He yeah. had a spot. He had her hands were on the bar a lot. Her hands were on the elbows a lot. If you watch his press downs, he'll do, like, 10 reps. And then the last four or five reps have quite a bit of swing in them. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Your past strict failure, his T bars and bent over rows had some swing. The last few reps, there was plenty of swing. All right, let's so, see. Let's see how close he doesn't go to failure here. Yeah. Okay. Four. Five. Okay. Yeah. He's her biceps starting, fired. He's starting her to biceps help, yeah. fired. Yeah. Her delts. Oh are firing. yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's a failure set for sure. Absolutely no kidding. Failure set. Yeah, no you question. Know. Boom. Yeah. Screw your dumbbells. <laughs> yeah. You have to drop yep. them evenly. That's the, the magic to that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That annoys me when people say, oh, well, Jay did volume, not failure. I'm like, no. Jay yeah. had a spot on a lot of sets. Yeah. yeah. I volume think, and failure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Volume, <laughs> volume and failure. There you go. I've when also in doubt, heard. When in doubt what? I was going to say when in doubt just. Train hard, right? Yeah. Yep. I've also heard that he only took really short, like 30 second rest periods between his sets. Yeah. He I've did heard other train people say quick. That. He did, but I don't know about 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 right. seconds is ridiculous. That's cardio. Yeah. Especially, you got to remember, it's not across the board. Like maybe he's doing that for arms or whatever, not even 30, but quick, but it's going to be slower for back. Yeah. So that yeah. was another another fail set. She spotted him on that one too. Okay. Yeah. Three, Every three single one had some failures. We got three sets of failure on dumbbells alone so it. far. Yeah. These are great. I love oh, how yeah. he sets these up. You can see the pack is just like doing all the work. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
when I do my dumbbell flies, especially incline, I really like that thumb in, you know, that slightly kind of thumb dominant, you know, right. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yep. Yeah. People forget the pec is an internal rotator. So you're, you know, the old school guys used to turn their pinkies on the flies. They thought they'd touch their pinkies. Yeah. Right. But that's not actually the full contraction of the pec. It's actually your thumbs. So that's a great fly. And she's spotting them, you know, a little bit the whole time. Boom. I wonder how many sets she spotted them on over the years. Oh, God. When did they she, get divorced? She knows oh, bodybuilding eight? more than most than most uh, coaches do these days. Imagine what she's seen. Yeah, yeah. She was yeah. with him when he started bodybuilding. Yeah, like <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? That then you know, then someone comes out. My next coach will be. Yeah, Carrie <laughs> Cutler, <laughs> Jay, Jay's ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yeah, I just really missed the space. I wanted to move <laughs> back into it. I'm taking some clients. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ten grand a piece. You know, yeah. she got to charge more. She got to. She got Olympia. She's an Olympia coach, like Ron, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Very impressive. When she sends you your uh, your first uh, check in template, she asks what the temperature of your fridge is. <laughs> <laughs> hey Scott, you gotta you gotta buzz it uh, to the uh, to some posing with in Jay and Chris's house. They have right. that on here. Now, Ron, is that the temperature of your fridge in the kitchen or that little fridge he has in the bathroom? Which the one, little uh, fridge in the bathroom. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, just check for it. Just check in. Right. Ideal, ideal temperature for that one. Let's see. Let's see some posing. So this oh, is at Chris's and, house, huh? He's got pullovers yeah. going. Dumbbell pullovers. Right We're old school. I think this is about the end of the workout too. So he's going to finish with yeah. pullovers a little later in the video. Here's a uh, look at this. Look at this. Ah, oh, the Cito. Here we go. Oh, Chris and his ex-wife Laura Creval. Second place at the Olympia. People forget. Look at this. Second last at the O, everybody. Who has not done the, the 900 different spots of posing for Chris? Chris Dang, Chris like looked young there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Look at that. What's Chris saying? Let's turn it up. I've got it turned up. He's just watching right now. I like when they're he's writing on the paper. He's like changing his food on the paper. Yeah. It's called a pen for kids who've never oh, seen it. Oh, look at the last. <laughs> Let's see if that three quarters tricep. Just Good. Take a take a step close to the sink. Yeah. Let's see the light. Okay, good. There you go. Good to see uh, absent eyes. Good. That was nuts even then. <laughs> I'm still Crazy. I'm still thinking that second to second to last right here. Yeah. This is when I should have quit bodybuilding when I watched this. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> For some reason I was motivated. Yeah. yeah. It should have debilitated us, but it motivated us because we're not smart. Bam. How young that muscle was to look. I mean, it was huge, but didn't have the look it did by the end. Not even it's just close. freaking wild. The lats are really shredded out there. That's yeah. a great look for Jay. What did I see last? Like four days ago? This is so Chris. Let's move over here and do the same thing. Yeah. When did I see you last? <laughs> yep. Was that how many days ago? Look at that. That is better lighting. Yeah. You know how it is. It's better for the back, but it's not as good for the hands. And then you got to turn yeah. to another room. Oh, the hands yeah. look better here. Yeah. Did your body weight go down since I saw you? You know, it's up and down. Let me say crunch up. Here. Here, look at my, you know, I love this so much. It's just so cool. And then last night, you have the memories. You know? yeah. Chris never changed, ever. Nope. It was the same the whole time. Work then, work now. I remember Chris came to my room once and posed the shit out of me. Yeah. 
They just kept asking for shots over and over and over again. Yeah. yeah I sweat through trunks before posing with Chris, like, days before shows. <laughs> I think it was on purpose. Oh, yeah. In hindsight, I was like, oh, you're just working. Why does your weight as what is today? Thursday? Yeah. When do we come up here? Sunday? Or Saturday? Sunday. Sunday. Can't even remember Sunday. what day it was. Four days you're You're dieting properly. He literally is, looks, I mean, he looks so <laughs> young. <laughs> they both do. Another piece of paper. Carry, uh, This is paper emails for kids that are watching now. <laughs> Jay eating oatmeal. There's probably more footage of him eating oatmeal than any other food. <laughs> I watched an hour of it once on a material video. You be My assumption is you should be there. That's it. You're done. You should be less than 261. You might be 258. But I, that's it. You should be less than 261. You might be 258, but that's it. You're done. <laughs> Just, uh, not hungry. Keep your sodium in. Maybe that's affecting your appetite. See, I mean, the thing is, is, you know, the high days, I don't really put it in. I'm trying to do what I did last time for the last show. And that's I barely used any salt. On my high days, on my carb days, or on my low days, I jacked it up. Yeah, just jack, keep it high all the time. It's better to keep it high all the yeah, way through. I'm just worried about. No, if you what, 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 weight rebounds you know. to 272, it's only water. You know? This is like. It'll, it'll make you look this worse. Is so cool. You know, not as cut, but it'll make your muscles swell. So on your low days, you know, they won't deflate. Mm -hmm. You know, the more, more blown up they are on your full high days, the less they're going to, you know, when you diet tough. You're not gonna shrink. You can see Jay just taking it in, okay? Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Right Pretty close. You're harder than four days ago. That's why I said, was it, you know, confused as a week? Saying this is a good progress for a week. That was a good week here in four days. Good progress for four days. Yeah. Uh, how many contests have you done? Four? Four or five. Four or five. Every contest. Every contest. Oh my done. god. Since, which is only four? Five contests and you and Mr. Olympia. Five, five total contests five. or four? Five. Every contest. Teen Nationals. Tournament Champions. Tournament of Champions. Nationals. Night of the Champions. Arnold. Ironman. Ironman Arnold. Arnold. Olympia. Pretty, pretty, quick, pretty quick progress for him, huh? Pretty much is at his best. Right there. You know, nothing crazy. Lose a couple pounds and um, you know, try to be as cut and as big as you can. You know, try to avoid that's making it. mistakes. That's all. Yeah, that's that freaking awesome, man. Man, it's just that that brings back so many memories of prepping with Chris. Like yeah. everything he said there, he said to me a hundred times. Like, yeah, like just how I just, uh, man. It reminds me of how people try to sound so smart. Oh, I do this and do that and do this and do that and do this and do that. And he's like, eh, you lose a couple pounds. Yeah. You know, and that's it. You're done. You're there. You know, <laughs> just try to be big. Yeah. I, lo I love that line there. Try, try to be uh, really cut and really big. I'm like, that's yeah, the just got to be as cut as you can. As big as you can. <laughs> you know, how many days ago did I see you? Is it four? I, I thought it was good progress for a week, but I guess it's been five days. Yeah. Like just that that's just so crisp, man. Yeah. It's funny to Everything me. about that is accurate. <laughs> you know. Probably didn't even <clears throat> they I know the cameras were rolling and they edited, but I, I'm I am not joking. It is very possible that they did not even discuss pharmaceuticals in that in that check in. No kidding. Oh well very. he saw him five days before. Yeah. Maybe he made an adjustment and there's just no need to speak of it. Like yeah. it might not have even gotten mentioned and, and people just, they have a hard time understanding that that's possible. The and amount of times possible. that that wasn't discussed. I mean, At I've had all. him say like weeks into a prep, what are we doing? What right are now? you on? Yeah. Like he wouldn't even yeah. know her. The, the second prep I did with him, I remember I asked him a question about a specific thing. Like, Hey, why aren't we doing this? And he goes, Oh, you look good. We don't need it. Yeah. 
Like he yeah. didn't even know we weren't doing it. But when I brought it to the table, he goes, you look fine. Don't worry about it. I, I still <laughs> tell people that I've said it before. This story of the first time I worked with them, I was off everything back in the old days when we were off. I was yeah. off. Right. Yeah. And I started with him and he's like, okay, well take a sustenance. He, what do you have? And I right. go, well, I have, I have some sustenance. Take, take a sustenance and send me pics in 10 days. <laughs> and that was it. And that was it. One just right from there. Amp. Just yeah. take one app. Send me pics in 10 days. I send him pics in 10 days. He's like, oh, you're up six pounds. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. 10 more days. You know, at one point I messaged him one time and I said, hey, Chris, like, like, I'm real happy with how I look, but I'm like 10 weeks out and I'm just wondering, like, am I on enough stuff? You know, I am supposed to be doing a super heavyweight show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he responds like, yeah. Your weight's pretty high, I guess. You're not really on anything. Well, let's get some of this. Let's get some of that. It's, you know, it's just funny. Yeah. But, not but, the priority um, at all. Not no. the priority. It just the pictures are the priority. And if he saw it in the pics, he would have told me to take it. Right. Yep. You know? Yep. And, um, yeah. yeah. If he, if he the, saw an issue, he would have started asking more questions, right? You know? If you right, weren't you big know? enough or hard enough, then he would say, he, you know, he'd figure it out. But Yeah. Yeah. I love that. That was good. Me too. Yes. Hey. That was more about okay. us than anyone else. Sorry, guys. Hey, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. as a viewer here hanging out with you guys, this might have been my favorite reaction so far, honestly. Really? Nice. Yeah, yeah. You know that it was I watched you guys light up watching him <laughs> work with Chris. React. Like, yeah, that was that was really cool to me, honestly. I'll react to the react. I yeah. I was never good enough to be that great of a bodybuilder. I was never good enough to work with Chris Aceto, but I have a ton of respect for him and the work that he did ton of respect for you guys and to see you guys light up like that watching him and it, it, it oh, is pretty cool. special that's pretty special yeah he he uh is a funny dude man it's just everyone everyone gets treated the same too like that's yep. jay you know and and i know that he he told us before we've heard the stories many times but that was back in the day where you know like obviously we were just opening email accounts back then we weren't right. sending pictures yet or anything right so yeah. jay would drive two hours to see him Yep. Pose for Chris even said many times he was there for 15 minutes. Hmm. Sometimes he'd eat. Drive home. Sometimes he was <laughs> sometimes he'd eat in the car and Carrie would drive, you know, like and he would just come and pose and then leave. And that was every every week at least once. And he did that for yeah. like the whole prep. Yeah. You know? So just that commitment to get those eyes on him at those times. Um, it was a different age, you know. You got training, cardio, <laughs> eating, and Four hours of driving once to twice, once or twice a week yeah. to go see Chris. <laughs> R- reminder for for clients who have a hard time getting the time to take photos to send you good he pictures. Was, you can't even yeah. take good pictures. Oh, I got up late this hours? morning. Yeah, right, yep. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Try driving four hours four back hours and forth to him to go. Yeah, everything looks yeah. good. I'll see you in a few days. Yeah, no changes. Change nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine the wife? They'd be like with Chris. It'd be like. In a in a eighteen week prep or whatever, there'd be like at least ten visits where he says no changes, and you know the yep. wife is sitting there the whole time home. <sighs> no changes. I can't believe. It. <laughs> I want to change away. something. I could have seen my mother today. I yeah, have things to do. You know? <laughs> okay, okay, everyone. Remember, like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell. Dusty twenty, Big Ron twenty. Everyone should get on the gear. Go to immutant.com. Of course, thanks to uh, Scott, the producer, McNally. Remember the Think Big Patreon. Thank you, guys. For the price of a cup of coffee, you can contribute to making Scott filthy rich. <laughs> there we I go. still haven't gotten my grill yet. You or know, just so get, Well, you don't <laughs> yeah. want to like, you, you, be, you don't want to like show your money off. It makes people feel yeah, it's true. You got to get yeah, like the health care first and then the grill. Yeah, no, that's the order. Set up for the future. The grill's the last thing to come. By the time you get the grill, you don't care what people think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're set. Remember, everybody, it's just bodybuilding reacts. <laughs> that never gets old. No. <laughs> thank you, guys. And both of you have a safe trip. And thank you again uh, for, you know, hanging out with me and stuff at, at oh, the it's Arnold. Awesome. It's great. When you get that a chance, was. I sent both of you that link to, I put together a little, little yes, 15 minute uh, vlog. I have to watch it. It's no big I deal. Have one, I have one regret. What's that? The next time that happens, we have to go to the show together. Oh, I yeah. was just so tired. I couldn't have done it. I was asleep Understood. at like 10 o'clock that night. 
I couldn't not go. Like I was exhausted yeah. too. Yeah. I couldn't not go. Like it was such the next the next yeah. time we have the chance, we have to all go together, sit together, walk around together. People will yeah. engage us and be like, Oh my god, it's just bodybuilding guys. I know. I met a bunch fun. of listeners, by the way. Yeah. Like, yeah. After, yeah. like after the show. I met a, a oh, several yeah. of them. And then one of them I, I met Dave years ago, Palumbo. But uh, I hadn't talked to him in forever. And somebody was like, I was like, oh, hey, Dave, can I get a picture with you? And then like the listeners were standing there and like, do you you ever listen to his shows? You ever listen to Scott's shows? And I, that's, oh, that's why I was funny. like, Dave, we'd love to have you on. And he's like, yeah, just have, uh, you know, have Ron or Dusty text me. And I was like, OK, right. you know, he didn't want to give me his number, but, you know, that's what I figured. <laughs> OK, well, I know Chris has mentioned it to him before, so yeah. we should do it. He'd okay. be great. He'd be great. OK. For okay, sure. thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Right. Safe okay. travels. See you in a couple days. Bye.